And already, a couple raindrops appearing on our Storm Tracker 4 here. So, uh, this is a light dose compared to the heavier stuff happening tonight and to greet you tomorrow morning for the early morning commute. We're going to add to this. Hey, we're going to have a little wrinkle. Some winds, too, for you as well. Here's SFO. Hasn't quite got down this far south yet as we see some sun going on. Of course, maybe we're going to make a rainbow with some rain at the same time. Temperature check in the 40s. Santa Rosa still is holding on to 39 with some of this rain in place. Boy, this is really a winter-type rain forecast, finally. 50 for Half Moon Bay. They're the mild spot here. Up to Tahoe, you bet it's going to be snow in the forecast. Actually, technically a little little bit of an increase in temperature by Wednesday, but they'll probably cool off when all of this moves on through from our perspective. The winter storm warning, that's until 1 a.m. on Tuesday. We're going to add a couple of feet to what we got going on. The other issue, too, is in some of the higher elevations, could get some hurricane strength wind gusts with this, maybe clocked as high as about 100 miles per hour. So that's another little wrinkle in this as well. Futurecast 4 going forward, splotch rain and then as we get to the later afternoon it gets more of a commitment of rain than a second dose that's the one that will be around tomorrow morning for a little bit more of the way moderate to heavy rain we see the skies open up a touch for monday and then fill back in again on tuesday let's step back now for the longer range forecast here we get through all that traffic to around tuesday here's another little dose as well and remember this is cold now and everything you see is coming from the northwest unlike we've had been seeing this been fortified by the mid levels or the the uh, mid latitudes and more southern latitudes of the Pacific and that air is obviously milder it cools off by the time it gets here but it has more moisture in it than this does so this is going to be colder and we're going to see a couple waves of this all the way the middle of the week and then there's a little period of some drying out just a touch and then it looks like we head into the weekend may have a little sprinkle maybe perhaps New Year's Day perhaps but that's just a sprinkle by that point. It should try to dry out a little bit. Four zone forecast, it's not real thrilling, but we'll walk through those numbers. 51 or so San Francisco and mirrored at the coast too, as we see on Bayside as well. Heading down south, numbers aren't moving. 52 for Palo Alto. In the Santa Clara Valley, Morgan Hill at 49. Wow, 50 Los Gatos, 51 for Cupertino. When you have a rain event like this, a lot of uniformity with temperatures. But inland, it's a struggle. Upper 40s, around 50 happening along the East Bay shoreline. Berkeley, 48, 49. Vallejo, Fairfield, 47, 46. Napa, 48. Santa Rosa. That's what you can expect for much of the week ahead, although conditions will change now. So we do drop off a little bit more so as we get to Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday particularly, we bottom out. But we only get up to the upper 40s to near about 50, finishing off the week. We'll do a little drying out. Watch out some of those lows, particularly by midweek here. Could be some black ice going on in the early morning hours, particularly in some of the valleys where the cold air drainage factor kicks in there, but you still have puddles, if nothing else. Back to you. All right. Thanks.